Debits and credits explained. Assets are things that you own, like heavy equipment, cash, and real estate. Liabilities are things that you owe, bonds owed to creditors, and potential damages from a lawsuit. Stockholders' equity is who owns the company. It's also called owner's equity or capital. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. This is called the accounting equation. What the company has belongs either to the creditors who hold the liabilities or the stockholders who own stock. Revenues are inflows from customers. Expenses are the cost of bringing in those revenues. There are different things the company has to pay for in order to make sales and profit. Sometimes they're a little too high. Revenues minus expenses equals net income. Net income is what most business people are looking for. Now, net income belongs to the owners. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Net income belongs to the owners. Therefore, net income will flow to the owners. This could be shown a different way. Revenues go to the owners. Expenses come out of the owner's share of the company. We could rearrange all of this like so. Assets on one side, liabilities and owner's equity on the other, where revenues flow into owner's equity and expenses come out of owner's equity. If I want to express this without a subtraction, I can simply move expenses to the left side so that assets and expenses equal liabilities, owner's equity, including revenues. This is debits and credits. Debit accounts are assets and expenses. Credit accounts are liabilities, owner's equity, and revenues. It's extremely important to understand which accounts are debits and which accounts are credits because they're treated in opposite ways on the books of the company. A debit account such as cash is going to be debited. The number will be written in the left column in order to increase it. To decrease it, it will be credited. The number is written in the right column, the credit column. On the other hand, credits such as bonds payable or liability to increase them, you will credit them, write the number in the right column. To decrease them, you will debit them, write the number in the left column. If you accidentally debit a credit account or credit a debit account, the amount will go in the wrong direction. Check out my website at accountinator.com. It's do-it-yourself accounting, quick, cheap, and easy.